Drummers, should you work out and how should you work out? We're going to be answering both of these questions. But for a second, let's just enjoy the Danette Titanium snare drum experience. Come on, let's get into it. Drummers, should you exercise? The answer is yes. First and foremost, if it's your first time here, my name is Brandon. I'm a fitness professional, biomechanics specialist. I have a gym in Toronto, Canada, and I work with people struggling at the most extreme cases. I work with NHL people, Hollywood directors, and a lot of professional drummers that you know that I have to keep anonymous, unfortunately, but it's a lot of fun, and I use exercise to make all of my changes. It is well documented that resistance training is one of the most powerful ways to improve and maintain your body's function. The litany of effects that come from exercise is, is hard to comprehend. But in short, here's why this is important to you. As a drummer, the instrument that you play is a byproduct of physics. Every time you use your drumstick and you hit an instrument, it pushes back forces into you. This means that your skeletal muscle, your shock absorbing tools have to be able to react to that force, have enough endurance to sustain, and then perform the next stroke. And if you're a gigging musician, you need to be able to do this more often, frequently, and faster. Several of the professional drummers that I'm working with over the age of 50 are feeling the effects. They're gigging six times a week, and without exercise, they're feeling discomfort. But by doing small amounts of exercise, and I mean very small amounts that we'll talk more about in the future, these drummers are feeling better. Their pains are going away. Even bone structural damage like osteoarthritis is still there, but it doesn't hurt. So now here's the next question I think is the most important. How should a drummer exercise? If you are someone who's semi-aware of the fitness industry, you'll know that there's a crazy amount of options out there from a fitness perspective. You've probably heard of things like CrossFit, yoga, Pilates, bodybuilding, powerlifting, cycling, spinning. The, the names just go on and on. F45, Orange Theory, it can go on for days and days. There are so many different types of exercise. Now here's how I would like to try to separate it. At the end of the day, exercise is about applying physics into your body, to create adaptations that gives you favorable changes in the direction that you want to go. Thank you, Siri. What this is important to understand is that if we see that separation that is about physics into the body, we have to figure out what adaptations that we want. If you want to grow bigger biceps and look like a bodybuilder and look like a model, you can do that, but understand that that's more on the cosmetic, aesthetic side of things. What I would encourage you to consider is that the amount of fitness that you should do should be specific to playing the drums. Let's create a distinction here. Cosmetic exercises could be function or things for drumming. If you think about a very common exercise like the push-up, the push-up, you put your toes on the ground and you perform motions with your arms. All the variations of push-ups you can think of, we're gonna put it into one category, we're just gonna call it a push-up. If you perform a push-up, there are a lot of muscles involved, like chest muscles. It's very commonly well known at any age that if you do push-ups, you'll probably get bigger chest muscles. And you might even get some bigger triceps and shoulder muscles. If we think about those adaptations, bigger chest muscles, a little bit of core, triceps, and shoulders, those can be powerful for drumming, but are definitely much more on the cosmetic continuum. If we think about shoulder function that relates to drumming, we don't need a high level of pec major chest strength. I'm not saying you won't benefit from it, but if we had to choose between this or that, a push-up and something like a hip flexion exercise for your bass drum, if you're going to do one of those exercises, the hip flexion exercise is a core exercise for your leg and is far more powerful for helping you improve your bass drum and core strength than the push-up would be if we were comparing one and two. Another great example is if you were to do grip hangs. So you hang from a chin-up bar and hold on with your hands for as long as you can, increasing your grip strength. You, as a drummer, will get way more payoff from improving your grip strength than ever doing bicep curls. Bicep curls is an exercise that's just ubiquitous with fitness, but truthfully, it has almost nothing to do with improving your drumming ability. So here's what I throw out there to you. And please comment below if you have questions, because I promise you there's going to be a litany of new stuff coming towards you with practical exercise advice to help you get more out of playing the drums. Drummers, should you exercise? Yes. How should you exercise? Think about separating fitness into two categories. Fitness for the drummer body, fitness for whatever other fitness goals you have. Now, I truthfully believe, unbiasedly, that you should do both. That you should have exercises to improve your drumming and help your drumming ability. And then you should also be doing high-level fitness exercises because if you haven't read 
Dr. Peter Atia's new book, Outlive, is an incredible book, but he describes that you should be trying to improve the quality of your body and health beyond like above average levels because as you age to 60 and 70, there will be a steady decline at one point. And if you are above average, when that decline happens, you'll be more prepared. What does this mean for you as a drummer? That means that that decline means that you'll be able to play drums longer. If you think about an 85-year-old, Right? My grandparents, I think about one 85-year-old that could play golf for a long period of time and that one that passed away at 84. The 84-year-old one passed away at 84, was not strong, had no strength, never exercised, never lifted a finger, privileged lifestyle, but was so weak that she wasn't able to pick herself off the ground when she had some problems. The other has kept going. The difference between the two is not that one got older differently. It's because one continued to use their body and the other didn't. Drumming alone is already going to be a great exercise, as you've seen by many people already. But if we want to avoid any small injuries like wrists and shoulders or bigger things like back that have taken people out like Phil Collins and Neil Peart from playing the drums, we can improve that with resistance training. So let me know how this lands with you. Please let me know if you have any questions. But I will say that things like chiropractic, massage therapy, physical therapy, and proactive Therapy models into your body are very powerful, but there's only one person who can make the actual changes to your body that will stay forever, and it's you. And it's the active things you do with resistance training. So if you're interested in getting started with this, check out my Instagram, Drum Mechanics, and I've been posting exercises recently, and people are loving it, which inspired this video. And if you're thinking about getting healthier, comment below about where you're struggling with your fitness so I can make more specific videos for you. But this is Brandon from Drum Mechanics, Strata Internal Performance, and Fitness Pro Mentors. And I want all of you having a high quality life. And again, titanium snare drum? Come on. Subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll talk to you real soon.